Hello, I'm Tom Lodziak. Today I'm here with top coach Ellie Barrity and today Ellie's going to help me improve my backhand flick. Um, so, you know, I've kind of got a basic backhand flick which I can kind of do fairly consistently. Um, sometimes I can get a, um, a good contact on it, but other times I feel as though I just perhaps do it a little bit too slow, just pop the ball up, giving the other player an easier chance to sort of counter-attack. Um, so really the idea of what I'm trying to do here, what I want to do here with this coaching with Ellie is to try and get a bit more speed and a bit more spin on this backhand flick to um, put my opponent under a bit more pressure. Um, so you're going to see some footage now of what the backhand flick, what my backhand flick, what it looks like already, what it looks like at the moment. Then I'm going to do some coaching with Ellie. He's then going to give some feedback about what he thinks about my backhand flick and how I need to improve it. Um, and then I'm going to show a bit more footage of what my backhand flick looks like after the coaching with Ellie. And hopefully you'll see some improvements. When I started with Tom, I noticed a couple of little uh, issues technically. What he was doing when he was coming in, he wasn't quite reading the spin of my racket. So he did the same movement for every spin. So different spins, you have to try and contact the ball at different locations. So if it's a top spin ball, it's generally more of a top of the ball. If it's a side spin ball, then a little bit, well, towards the top, but in between the top and the middle of the ball, and then if I give him a little bit of backspin, you have to try and contact the ball around more in the middle of the ball. So once we got him to read the spin, he was able to contact the ball at different timing points, which enabled him to control the ball and get the flicks on better. The other thing I noticed was his wrist movement. He locked his wrist as he came in and flicked the ball. So it's very important to whip the wrist to enable you to generate loads of top spin on the ball and gain control on the ball as well. We noticed that also he was throwing the arm in a sideways motion. So we tried to focus on a more on a forward movement. Uh, so I gave him a little tip of to try to think that you want to hit the net with your bat. So you're throwing the bat forward towards the net, which then enabled him to generate momentum forward rather than a sideways movement. Okay, so yeah, you know what, I think there's some improvement there. I think the thing which I'm still struggling with and I need to work on more is just extending that wrist through the flick. And I completely see what Ellie was saying about me kind of locking up my wrist and it staying there and just letting my wrist go. That's something that I'm gonna to have to really work on, make that work. I think the thing which really made it sort of work in my head sort of the light bulb moment was when Ellie was telling me to throw my back forwards towards the net rather than 
coming over to the side here, which is kind of how I play it at the moment. So coming forwards to the net. And I think if I can keep that in my mind, then that should help me extend my wrist and really get this flick to work. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Please, please do write your comments um, on the video. Let us know what you think about it. Um, and also, please subscribe to my channel and also to Ellie's channel and take a look at our websites as well. I'll put all of the links to um, our channels and websites in the description of this video. Um, okay, see you soon.